I'm in full combat mode. Welcome for the final time to the laboratory of Castle Bright Sparks. We've already seen five teams make it to the winner of winner's final. Who's going to join them? We're going to find out tonight. What skills do they have to impress the professor with their scientific and technological darn flair? Time to meet the teams. Here's team one. So Joe, what's it like being my apprentice all these weeks? Well, Professor, through you I have seen and done some things that have completely blown my mind. Sometimes literally. But to be honest, I would find it hard picking a favourite. Go on, choose one. Make yourself. In at number five is the Barking Dog Experiment, or chemiluminescence. Pal mixed two chemicals together and Elvis H. Presley that they stink. Then when he lit the mixture and it combusted, it gave out the most terrifying noise I've ever heard. This super woofer made us jump right out of our skins. Starting the day with this breakfast would fairly put the wind up you. The Big Bang Breakfast is at number four in the shock stakes where we not only blew up an ostrich egg, but my favourite was the tin of beans that exploded before our very eyes. The Big Bang that comes in at number three in our Hot Five was my Big Bang birthday cake. After hilarious Hal and Naughty Noel played that horrible joke on me using a sausage and liquid nitrogen, Hal made my birthday cake explode by using liquid oxygen. When liquid oxygen is lit and it reacts with sugar, the result is a huge explosion. Pip to the post, it's number two, the Big Bin Blowout. We put crystallized carbon dioxide into an empty lemonade bottle and added hot water. When the lid was tightened, the gas in the bottle made it explode. To demonstrate how much pressure the explosion created, we then put the bottle into a metal bin and stood back and watched. The bin exploded with an almighty force and Professor Noel got a few more grey hairs. But the Bright Sparks Big Bang top spot goes to the dreaded Faraday cage. Why not was zapped with one million volts of electricity and encased in lightning? And all the while, Professor Noel just stood by and watched. Scurry, unforgettable, amazing. Just call me Sparky. And remember, don't, don't try that at home. Now I have a special treat for you today. Another one? Yeah, instead of going into the infinity tunnel, I'm bringing Hal here to the castle. No way, bring on stuff. Hal! with you two and I brought some great stuff from my lab. I bought gases that explode, I bought gases that burn and I brought in here a solid that's got so much surface area it burns almost by itself. Let's see Stand it. Stand well back. Ooh. Brilliant. So you've got something really impressive to show us today, haven't you? I have. Come with me to my surgery. Right. Ooh. Welcome to my world. This is a methane foam. Methane's natural gas. It's so natural, we all pass some every day, eh? <laughs> some more than others? Yes, right. We're going to put some methane gas into my hand, like so. And right at the back of my hand. It's a bit light in here, eh, Prof? Castle, light! OK. Fire in the hold. Whoa! <laughs> Now that didn't hurt because there wasn't much oxygen in the foam. So up it went without burning my hand. What do you think of that then? That was quite impressive, but well, I've seen you doing better. Better? Yeah, I've you seen you better. doing better. Mm. Yeah, a gas that burns, what about if we mix it with a gas that explodes? Mm. We can do that. Methane with hydrogen. Methane burns, giving out heat and light. Hydrogen explodes, giving out heat, light and sound. This is the experiment that keeps on giving. Let's get some methane foam on my hand and walk over to that hydrogen balloon. Follow me. Now you're talking. OK, it's still a bit light in here, eh, Prof? You make me... Castle. Lights. OK, fire in the hold, number two. Whoa! There you go. Two. That was more impressive, a lot more impressive. Well done, there. Still. Ah. You can do better. Yeah, you see, that was hydrogen. 
Now, hydrogen is the simplest of all the elements and also the most abundant. 88% mm. of the universe is hydrogen, and we just blew up two litres. So we can afford to blow up 24 litres. No. We can. I just need my special fire stick. Let's spark it up Ooh. and make a really big bang. What do you say? Castle lights. Right, before we go on, everyone, safety glasses on. This is high stakes, high bang science. Here we got three times seven balloons full of hydrogen. Hydro means water. Gen comes from Genesis, creating. Hydrogen burns in oxygen to give water and a big bang. Check it out. Fire in the hold. Oh, oh, oh. Number one, fire in the hold. Oh. Number two, fire in the hold. Oh. Number three. <laughs> OK, let's see that again then. Hydro means water. Gen comes from Genesis, creating hydrogen, birds and oxygen to give water and a big bang. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. Really impressed. Oh, I, got, I got stuff to do. That was a big bang balloon bonanza. I've got to go. I've got experiments to do. Thanks. It's, it's been great. We'll have lunch. Bye. -bye. See you soon.